Passat B6, ignition module, basically the ignition holder. This is the part number. So the ignition holder, I mean, the one where you put the key, when the key doesn't go properly, like see, you gotta put the key in right. I'm just gonna try to show you because this is the broken one. I already just put them like that so I can take them off for you to, for you guys to understand. So when you put the key in, see, it, 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 it literally doesn't go in. It struggles to go in, you have to wiggle it. See? This is faulty inside. That's the key, right? That's the old ignition. This is ignition lock, but for the key, key ignition lock. Right. And to reach that, first of all, you have this, that you have to push this in and with the pick tool, you have to reach both sides here and there and this will pull off. So you have to pull it one side at a time. You can see the clips, they bend, right? Then the next bit is taking this part from here. Then the radio trim, you pull it out like that. Clock trim, if you need to see how this one comes out, you can see in the previous videos. It's just a little bit dried out. Then you can have one screw here, one screw here, one there, one there. As soon as you take this one out, this will have a screw in there as well. I took it off already. This one, basically, this is the the little like a little glove box it's a storage space in here that you just literally pull it open it down and then you push this clip in and you pull it out it pulls out from those things there you just literally pull it out right at this time even with this there is no space to get that thing out it literally doesn't come out the ignition lock from here i tried for some reason there's something holding it on the side and it doesn't let it go so you can't take it that way that's why you have to remove all the screws then if you don't know how to take this one off you push it in right you put it on zero you push it in and then you pull up like this and it comes out then obviously you remove the plugs all of them in here this is the handbrake one this one you have a cover in here that you have to take off and then remember there are two screws here one there and one there you push this one in you use a pry tool or a pick tool to push it in like that so you can just get it out all right i'm gonna get all of these switches out because i already disconnected them you can see the plug when you do it so you can take it out then this bit comes out and you can try to push it in this way if not see you can push like this and just goes out as you can see this one lifts up you can just take it like this and the lock is there right so you literally wiggle it out right it comes out there's a plug pull this red thing out and then push it and you take the connector out and you put a new one back in this is the same part number as the other one this is from a working unit i know for sure there was no issues and then if you look there you got this bit there's a slide on either sides and it just goes in there so basically you just have to look through here you have to get it back to where it belongs and guess what's the problem now it's the other way around 
so obviously it has to be spinned because I spin this I can show you the, the switch okay, up. it goes like this and here's what's holding it when you push it it just goes this clicks in on both sides right it just clicks in there clicked in place now the only thing left is to realign this one that's gonna hold the screw then you put back everything obviously it's a bit harder for me to show you with one hand the, if you see this one going hard like it doesn't go nicely back in it means you're basically doing some something's wrong so don't push or force right what happens sometimes there's a cable from the lock just pu pull it down so you won't be stuck somewhere put everything back in and obviously put all the bits back and that's it and it should work pro properly now thanks for watching and hope hope you find this one useful and please subscribe have a nice one cheers